Welcome to the Butterfly Effect All, All Hands Call. It is a Friday, the 25th of September. And oh my gosh, it was like August was the month that never ended, and September yeah. is the month that's flying by, right? Um, like and meetings and all that stuff that we all had going on. It's just it's just like the month of September. I mean, August for me lasted forever, but wow, it's like, okay, guys, it's 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 the very end of the month. How close are you to success club? You know, are you is that even on your radar? That are you working to get the P90X1 and P90X2 package, right? I mean, that's huge. As I see Ann nodding in the background, she hasn't been, hasn't been as excited about a prize in a long time, I don't think, for Miss to Mr. Tony Horton Lover over there, Miss Tony Horton Lover. I love Tony too. And the thing that's so great about this prize specifically, guys, is if you're not as excited about it, if you're like not a Tony person, then what an amazing gift or what an amazing incentive that you can give to someone else, you know, that you can use for someone in your downline who's just been doing really awesome. Christmas, hello, Christmas is coming up, Christmas presents for people, or it might make you step out of your box and try P90X. <laughs> like Jill Leptoski will t told me the other day that it's been the most life-changing experience for her and um, she'll probably never do it again, but she's glad that she did because she can do pull-ups now. So that's really super exciting. Um, and Ann and Ann just said, I just want to get on here. As a club member, we have access to the program already and, and uh, these make awesome challenge group prizes. Yes, yes. If you're a club member, then um, you already have access to it, but yeah. I mean, can you imagine telling somebody that at the end of the group that you're going to have, a, you're going to, for whoever's the most engaged participant or whoever has the best results or whatever gets P90X at the end. Ah, hello, that's awesome. Okay, so the meat of today's call is we are talking about consistency. We're talking about consistency. The reason why I'm talking about consistency I've had probably huh, in the past month probably eight conversations. You know, I'm a, a habitual exaggerator, and I think eight might be correct. Okay, um, I almost said a million. I know that's not right. Um, conversations this month about this subject, and that is when our business right when we're first starting our business, right? Um, many of us want this business to be like other people want nutrition, want fitness. They want to be able to pop, you wanna be able to pop a pill and be able to be skinny again. Kind of like we wanna be able to make a post of these are my results, this is what I'm doing. Don't you want to do what I'm doing? And then bam, all of a sudden, our results are, are all, everybody's going to want to join our business, right? And that's just not the way it works. And I've told a story many times, and I'm going to share pizza of it today. As far as you know, I got into this business for the wrong reasons. I got into it because um, for me, it was just a business decision. It was just about the money. And, and, and so therefore, I had a hard time growing my business at first because my heart wasn't really in the right place with the business. And I, I'm not saying that that's you. I'm not saying that's you because the majority of the people on this call, on this team, all started out in this business for the exact right reasons. You all mostly had all had amazing results with the products first. You fell in love with the products first, right? And so your heart is in the right place. So why the hell aren't people just like streaming in wanting to come and join your business? Well, Many of you, as you get started, kind of a flip-flop for me, right? You didn't start out as a fitness professional and became a Beachbody coach. You started out as a lover of pro the products and then are starting to ease your way into being more of a fitness or life coach professional, right? So there's a learning curve there. And there was a learning curve for me. Beachbody did not teach me how to be a fitness, a fitness professional. But Beachbody has taught me several different lessons and those are patience 
and perseverance, okay? And how important consistency is. So those are gonna be the three things that I really talk about today, persistence, patience, and, and, and consistency. So let's think about how those three things and those three topics come into play within our business. Let's, let's just say, okay, I'm going to pretend, I, I'm gonna take on a, a different role. This is not me, okay? So this, let, let's say talk about, pretend I just became a new coach, okay? I've just had amazing results with a program. And I decide, okay, I wanna step up and start being a coach. Maybe I'm not at my goal weight yet. Maybe I haven't hit my goals. But everybody says that I don't have to be at my goal weight. So I'm going to step up and I'm going to do it. So you make that decision to go for it. So now what? Well, your coach, my coach told me that I need to be a product of the product. Hello, I'm already doing that, right? I need to, um, I need to work on personal development and I need to invite people to join me. So we assume that most of us already start out as proof the product works. I'm going to pretty much just kind of put that to the side. Although all of us know that our workouts and our wellness teach us patience and perseverance as well, right? Because we know if we do them daily and we do them regularly with time, we will hit our goals. So I just became a new coach and I just signed up and my coach told me I'm supposed to post three times a day. And I post three times a day about Shakeology and about my workouts and about everything. And I post my before pictures, but no one is commenting. I'm so frustrated. I've been doing this every day for the past 30 days and I'm not getting much response. And so you know what? I don't think this is for me. Have you heard that before? Have you heard that from your coaches? So this is a, our job now as coaches, as, as sponsors, to help them remember that this business is just like their wellness transformation, okay? Never did we wake up and think that, okay, I'm going to do one workout of the 21-day fix, and I'm going to hit my goals. Nobody really thinks that. They may wish for that. But they, but they don't think that. So why do we assume that the business is going to take off like that? So first and foremost, we really have to, the per, I know you're like, personal development is a broken record. She talks about it all the time. Right. But here's the thing. Not only do you have to be willing to transform physically, you have to be willing to transform who you are as a person. And I have to ask you to ask yourself right now, you who you are right now today, would you hire you as a coach? Would you hire yourself as a coach? And if the answer is yes, that is freaking phenomenal and I'm proud of you, okay? But if the answer is eh, I'm not going to say no, but I uh, don't know. If that's you, if that's what you're feeling inside when I just asked that question, then I need to remind you that other people may be thinking the same thing. Okay? And it's not our job to take it personally or force ourselves onto people. But it is our job as coaches to become that person. And becoming that person doesn't happen overnight. It takes patience, and it takes perseverance, and it takes consistency. So what do I really mean by that? So patience, obviously, we don't change overnight. We don't change overnight. And when I say change, I don't even, I don't necessarily mean physically. I mean, if someone tells you they're not interested in Shakeology, does that get you down? If it does, you haven't done enough personal development yet. 
Okay. I mean, that's what I'm saying. If it, I don't expect you to become a coach, read a personal development book, and then the next day not be affected by no's, like I don't expect that. Right. But it takes perseverance of continuing with the personal development. You have to remember why you're doing it, not just to make the sale and not just to start to get the income. It's because you are becoming someone else. And internal transformations take way longer than external transformations. Let's, let, let's, let's kind of go down on a segue, but on a rabbit hole for a second. Let's think of all those people. And please, 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 I'm going to say a disclaimer. If there's anyone on the team who has not shared with me that they've done this, I'm, please do not take offense. But weight loss surgery. Okay, let's just think about weight loss surgery for a second. Someone has weight loss surgery, they lose weight really fast, right? But what most of them fail to do is to address the issue of why they were that size in the first place. How many people do you know who get weight loss surgery who end up gaining all the weight back? I know many people who've done that because it's just another quick fix, right? They have failed to go through the internal transformation. If one gets weight loss surgery and goes through the internal transformation of personal development, then it can be a great thing for them. But you be, have to be willing to change inside throughout the process. And then we go back to our why. Why did we become a coach in the first place? And if it was truly because you're so, you, you have such amazing results, you're going to be drinking Shakeology anyway, and you're going to be doing the workouts anyway, and you just truly want to pay it forward, then why after a month of people telling you no, do you throw in the towel? Because if the goal wasn't to make money anyway, have you lost anything? You haven't lost anything. So we slowly become patient and we persevere and we're consistent with our pers personal development because we know we have to change internally. And then as we change, as we're going through this, this process of changing, we're sharing what we're learning on personal development. So guys, this is why it's so vital that you don't just share your workouts and your Shakeology on social media. You also have to share stuff about your personal development. Because I know people who, when I see their posts, I'm like, oh my goodness, I would never invite them to be a part of my team because everything they put out there is so negative Nancy and I just don't want that in my world anymore. But if all of a sudden on Facebook, I, or even slowly, I started to see their, to, their tune change, right? And all of a sudden the negative stuff wasn't there. And then all of a sudden slowly they started to like post positive and uplifting stuff. And then before I know it, I find myself pausing and reading and feeling inspired and feeling uplifted and noticing that what they're putting out into the Facebook vortex is affecting me in a positive way. That I'm like, huh, I wonder what they have to say today. I wonder what they have to say today. So I'm not say, telling you that what you are putting out there is negative Nancy. What I'm telling you is you may have been putting out something out into the Facebook vortex or even just through your energy field through people, um, some of your baggage. Because let's face it, when we start a wellness journey, we got lots of baggage. And we slowly start to drop it as the journey goes, as we work on ourselves, right? We slowly start to drop it. 
So the lighter you get in baggage, the more appealing you are to other people. So we have to be patient and persistent, or we have to be patient waiting for people to start to come around to our change. Because the people who are currently in your life probably are gonna feel a little uncomfortable by you changing. Because it shines a light on where maybe where they're not so proud, okay? They, because we reflect in each other what we like and you know if if something about me resonates with you it's because you see a part of yourself in me if there's something about me that really bugs you it's probably because you're seeing something in yourself in me okay so and then we have to be we have to persevere and we have to be consistent because we have to always be on people's minds and on their radars. So if we were posting multiple times a day for a month and it didn't work and then all of a sudden we stop, guess what? We fall off people's radars. They're not thinking about us anymore. They start to wonder if you're really serious about this whole beach body thing. Because if you're really serious about this beach body thing and you're not posting about it anymore, are you even doing it? People are watching. People are watching. Like, okay, I'm gonna tell you right now, um, my cousin, who's a coach on this team, I, I'm going to say her name, Diana. Um, she's been, you know, up and down with her weight loss journey, and I've been encouraging her to coach people. She's in our sneak peek that's about to happen. But literally, Diana, before she became a coach on the team, she shared with me, she went to my page almost every day for a year and never liked or commented on anything. I didn't even know she was paying attention. But because I was consistent, I was consistent every day. I was feeding her food of inspiration that she was needing, that she wasn't even willing to admit to herself that she needed. But she was coming to my page every day. And imagine the patience, though, that it would take, I mean, every day for a year. Imagine if all of your friends are like that on Facebook. Just imagine. Imagine if all of your friends right now had to wait one year to, to make sure you were consistent with this business of showing that you believe in you, yourself, and this mission so much, you're willing to post three times a day for a year without any business. Would you do it? Would you do it if you weren't getting anything in return? Would you continue, really? I'm asking you that so you can really analyze why you do what you do. Is it because you're passionate about what you do? Or is it because you're just looking for the results? And if you're just looking for results, it's going to shine through. And, and then lastly, guys, as far as this is concerned, patience, perseverance, and consistency, say you've, you've highly established yourself as a coach. You've, highly, you've been doing it for, for a good year. You've built a good business, and everything's going great. You're, you're getting some money flowing in, just what your family needed to help you with you right now. And guess what? Life happens. There's a death, there's a move, there's a marriage, there's a sell of a house, there's vacations. Life happens, right? So what I've also learned about this business, because it is what it is, it's the nature of the beast. I'm not telling us that we can't take time off, we can. But if we allow our consistency to lack, to slack for too long, it's like starting over. Because our people who were used to being fed by us now start looking other places for food. It's like the person who I've been going to for daily inspiration is no longer providing information. Where do I go? 
I go elsewhere. And so the, therefore, it makes it harder to pull them back. Because guess what? They've already gone elsewhere. I'm not telling you they've switched coaches. But maybe they were coming to you on a daily basis for motivation and encouragement. And even if like as a new coach to work the business and all of a sudden you're not really working it anymore. Why do I have to? I mean, if, if you're doing it all the time. So, so the idea, guys, is to really get the business to grow like so many of us would love to see it happen. As we're building and we're growing, we have to be patient and persevere and be constant. But so do we as we get higher up. Because the higher up we go, I'm not nearly as worried about the Facebook vortex of what they think about me as I am about you guys. I mean, how would you guys feel if all of a sudden, like, I just disappeared off social media for a while? canceled all of our calls, said, guys, I got stuff going on in my personal life and I'm just going to, I just, I just, I just need a break. I'll be back in a couple months. I'll let you know when I'm back. What do you think that would do to you, to our connection, to this organization? I would come back in a couple months and I say, Hey guys, I'm ready to come back. Yeah. Say, Hey guys, I'm ready to come back. And you're like, Oh, Oh, what are you talking to me? Cause you haven't talked to me in a long time. <laughs> Why, how do I know that you're still, that you're not going to take another four month break in a couple of months? Like I need someone who's going to be here to inspire me and I need to, and, and so I guess the point of saying this guys is being a coach and being an awesome coach, you got to want it. You got to want it. And then we also have to focus on what is it about it that you love? Because when you get lost, I know I'm always asking you about success club and I'm always asking you about, you know, your, your point volumes and I'm rewarding you about those types of things. But you have to remember why we're doing this in the first place. And once you remember why we're doing it, it's a whole lot easier to be consistent. And if you really don't know why you're doing it in the first place, <laughs> then we need to talk, okay? Then we need to talk. But we're down to our last four minutes. And I would love for everybody on this call, I'm gonna go around, I'm just gonna do, it's gonna be just a power sentence, okay? We're gonna go around, you're gonna say what you're currently reading for personal development or what you're doing for personal development, even if it's just the, the new coach training, okay? Just even if it's the new coach training, I don't care. One sentence of something that has stuck with you. Okay, I'll go first to give you all a second. Um, and I literally, I just want it one sentence because we're in our last like two or three minutes of, of the meeting. Mine is I'm reading um, 10X by, gosh, I can't even rem remember his name. I'll post it in the group later if you care. But um, the other day he said, when you're looking for motivation and you're looking for support and you're looking to grow, never go down and never go horizontal. You got to go up as far as whenever you are looking for somebody else. So never go horizontal, never go down, always go up. So I'm going to go in the order of people who are on here and the next, Anne Heath. Um, I've just been listening to podcasts and I actually listened to the foundation of success yesterday that Darren Hardy is putting together. It's like an hour and a half long. Oh my gosh, you guys have to try it. It's, I took like six pages of notes, but one that stuck out with me was hit close to home. Self-protection leads to mediocrity. Ooh. Tell us the name of that podcast one more time, Anne. It's called, um, it's Jim Ron's Ron mentor, Ron. mentor to the mentors. I, I'll post the link to it because I posted it in my group. It's fabulous. Please do. Please do. I would love, I love Jim Rohn. Thank you for sharing that, Ann. That's awesome. I didn't even know he, he had that out. So thank you for sharing that. Trisha, what have you been doing for personal development and just one takeaway? To be honest with you, I have not been doing very much personal development this week because every second I spend is either with my family or painting this house. Why aren't you <laughs> listening to personal development while you're painting? I have music on. I know. Um, the music. Oh. Okay. Have... Next. <laughs> Sorry. Next. 
see people? <laughs> Joking. Podcast. Listen. Okay. Kristen. Um, I'm reading You're a Badass. I was the book last month. I'm still trying to finish it. And um, it's just really helped me with, uh, like, I don't really know how to say, like, I guess patience with myself a lot. Okay, good, good. I loved your badass. I l literally listened to that probably right in a row three or four times. Loved it so much. And her voice is amazing too. She has such a great sense of humor. So it's one I highly recommend on audio too. Okay, Tara, what you been doing for personal development lady? I know you're driving. <laughs> well, I'm trying to fa finish Willpower Instinct and then I've been doing some of Shalene's podcasts. Um, one takeaway. My main takeaway is I need to apply my willpower that I have for other things to my business more. Ah, okay. I like that a lot. She's got strong willpower. Now she's going to apply it to actually work in her business. This girl <laughs> wants to get, Tara wants to get out of her J-O-B. Okay, so let's see here. Laptoski. So I'm reading The Celestine Prophecy by James Redfield, which is fun because it's actually fiction. But I think um, one, one of my takeaways from it is going to be the first insight, which is basically the power of coincidences. And that if somebody comes into your life, into your path, embrace it um, and figure out what their purpose is for you in your life. And I think that can apply to our business too. Absolutely. Absolutely it can. And just a heads up on that book that she's reading. Again, it's a Celestine Prophecy. It's a book that changed my life. However, it's fiction and it's written, it's written about a, a philosophy in a fictional way. And so it's very entertaining. But for those people, um, uh, it's not for everybody. That's all I got to say. It's not for everybody. Okay. So who's still on audio? Is it N Nicole? Did you call in or is that Sarah B? Yep. I'm here. Okay. Um, I'm trying to fit. I'm trying to finish. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. I'm trying to finish. You're a badass. Okay. And what is your takeaway? The biggest thing that I see running the theme running through it for me is that it's okay to love myself and be my own cheerleader. Oh, yes, it is. It is absolutely okay to love yourself and to be your own cheerleader. And when I read You're a Badass, my biggest takeaway is that I don't have to think that just because um, I, just because I'm striving to make more money for my family, that that makes me a greedy uh, W.I. <laughs> something like that or to have a positive, more positive relationship with it. That the more, the more uh, uh, money you make, the more you can do with it. That's, that was one of my biggest takeaways. Anyway, so thank you so much for calling in, guys. It is 4.30. Um, I appreciate it so much. I will, I'm going to share with you, I have a big event that I'm producing tomorrow, and I have a feel. I will be doing that all day long tomorrow, and then I will be unplugging all Sunday just to recharge after that. So the post, so this call will be reposted on Monday. Um, please share it with your teams whenever it gets done. And my heart is overflowing seeing you here today. So I love you all. Talk to you soon. Bye. Have a nice weekend. You too.